Do you ever think that each of us was brought into this world with a purpose? Something that, even as we are just a couple of years old, we are beginning to grow into and fulfill? Personally, I don't remember much about being an infant. Most of what I know comes from what other people have told me. They say that before I could even talk or walk properly, that I loved video games. Apparently, if I was watching a family member play a game, I wasn't satisfied until I had a controller in my hands so that I too could feel like I was participating in the game, whether it was plugged in or not. A controller, that is. They tell me that while I would babble in my childlike talk, amidst the rush of unintelligible words, they could always make out the word Bowser, to which I would revisit two or three times in a sentence. They tell me how I would become incredibly upset when we left the arcade. They tell me that my whole world revolved around games. And then I grew up and moved out of my home. Suddenly, the rest of my entire life was laid out before me, along with all the opportunities and possibilities that I could have. And I saw an entire universe of gaming that I so desperately needed to experience. I set out over the next six years to play every single game that I could. It's not that I didn't have a life. I mean, over those six years, I would become married. I would graduate from college and find a decent job. But every free moment that I had was spent knocking games out of my backlog. PlayStation games, Steam games, Nintendo games. It didn't matter from what generation or console it was from. If it was a game, I was going to play it, no matter how good or bad it was. I had a personal score to settle with the entire history of gaming, and I wasn't going to stop until I'd played every single one. So tell me, are you like me? The truth is, is that even if you love games just a little, I probably would love spending time with you. I would love to hear your insight, your ideas, your opinions about games. I would love even more to provide you with information that I have about games. Which ones I think are good, which ones I think are unique, which ones I think are bad. I would love to make it my purpose to share with you everything I know, because as much as I love games, I love even more to spend time with the people who love those games. And this leads me to a dilemma I had not too long ago. You see, I realized I was being incredibly selfish, building my internal library of video game knowledge and history, and I was doing nothing with it. My weekends, where I would knock four games out of my uh, gaming backlog, would give me a to-do list box that I could check off, but ultimately that information went nowhere. Even my wife, who loves video games as much as I do, was beginning to become concerned and question why I was playing these games. And that's when it hit me. When I was a kid, I was constantly surrounded by people I trusted and loved and who loved me back. I was constantly surrounded by friends, classmates, family, and yes, while some of my fondest memories with them are the times we would spend hours on end with controller in hand, it was never the game so much itself that was important. It was the fact that we were sharing it together. Even though our goal was always to beat the game, it came second at the price of admission, which was relationship. I love my wife and I love my friends, but when you get older, things become different. You become much busier, and so do all your peers. It's not that I don't spend time playing games with people, it's just the amount of time and its frequency is very small compared to years prior, but only because it doesn't happen as naturally as it did before. See, you know, you aren't going to a class with the same kids at the same time day after day anymore. You aren't skipping band practice to go play Advanced Wars until the band director finds you. You aren't living in a household with your siblings every single day where you all share a collective game library. My love for people and games has never changed, but it's no longer so easy to spend time doing both. But I realized that was what I was missing, and I knew that's what I needed to do. It was then that I decided to make a decision. I made the decision to become intentional with sharing my games with other people.